Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Chapter 26, which is um, Saving Investment in the Financial System. Our first learning objective is to take a look at the U.S. financial institutions, and more specifically, we want to describe the main types of financial institutions in the U.S. economy. We also want to discuss the functions of the main types of financial institutions in the U.S. economy. Your book is a little bit different because it doesn't really um, do a phenomenal job at um, the U.S. financial institutions. So I did provide a link to, uh, to discuss very briefly the difference between the primary and secondary markets in this particular module. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so our first objective is to take a look at the uh, main types of financial institutions in the U.S. economy and the functions of each of those. So the first type of financial institution that we're going to look at is this overall financial system and what is it? So a financial system is really a group of institutions and the idea here, what I want you to take away, is that they want to match the saving of one person with the investment of another. So really what they do, financial markets, um, and we can categorize financial institutions in terms of deposit-taking institutions, finance and insurance institutions, investment institutions, prevention, I'm sorry, pension providing institutions, risk management institutions. All of these are different types of uh, financial institutions that we have in our system. Basically what they do, the primary functions of each institution is really that they accept deposits, they provide commercial loans, they might provide real estate loans, mortgage loans, or they could issue share certificates. And so in our financial markets, again, the idea here is where savers can directly provide funds to borrowers. So we have two different types of markets, the bond market, and again, the difference between a stock and a bond is a bond is what we call equity, I'm sorry, it's called debt financing, and so we have to repay that back. So we call that debt financing from a business standpoint or from a government standpoint. In a stock is called equity financing because what we're really doing is selling ownership in our firm, but we don't have to we don't have to pay that back. So we call that equity financing. Most organizations, uh, most uh, business organizations, profit institutions will probably have some kind of combination of debt and equity financing. Okay, so these financial intermediaries are where we indirectly. Um, or savers can indirectly provide funds uh, to borrowers. So in for the context of our book, what are the two uh, different types of financial intermediaries? We're going to say there are direct and indirect. Okay, so financial markets are a direct way to provide funds to borrowers where savers can directly provide funds to borrowers. And uh, the other type is the uh, where savers can indirectly provide funds to borrowers. And examples would be banks and mutual funds. And so those are some different types for the purposes of our textbook. Okay, I'll see you back for learning objective two. Thanks.